Definitely called artillery on this location. And get him while oh, 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 are we hidden? Oh, he's up here. Okay. Oh, shit. So that was lucky. And there's another guy over here. Let's spot him up. The gun sounds are fantastic now. Beautiful. Okay, well. If you're going to do that, then that's fine. Nice. My god, that was basic as hell. Hello people there, this is the Real Revolution. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to 1.97. The patch has finally dropped yesterday after much, much hype. And the Swedish tanks are finally here. And what the perfect time for it to drop as well with everyone literally panicking over the coronavirus. I think yesterday's team had its highest record of player players in one go which was like 20 million so lots of people playing the games uh, right now so this is the perfect opportunity to grind out uh, some swedish vehicles today we're going to be looking at the cv90 105 this is the new swedish top tier uh, premium vehicle quite an interesting tank uh, to be honest this is designated as a light tank uh, in the, the tag tree 9.0 battery rating pretty typical of all these uh top tier premiums which have been added in. Uh, in terms of the, the gun on this, it's a 105mm cannon uh, which has a little bit lower pen compared to some of the other ones. Uh, there's two main shell types you're going to be using this, both of them uh, APF SDS. We've got this one here with 353mm uh, of penetration and then we have the DM23 which has 337mm uh, of penetration but this one has a better penetration at a 60 degrees angle which is probably the shell that you're going to want to use uh, for the most part because it improves penetrating um, angled upper plates uh, for example this one also as well has a slightly worse uh, muzzle velocity compared to this one but the dm23 is your going to be your go-to shell uh, with this vehicle it also has thermals on which is really really nice and also kind of unique and uh, not that many other vehicles have this has a the commander binocular thermals as well as the gunner sights which is really really nice in terms of the reload rate it's a typical 8.7 seconds which is a uh, pretty standard across the board when it comes to top tier uh, premium vehicles the best thing about this tank though is the maneuverability it is extremely quick extremely mobile across the battlefield it only has a 550 horsepower engine but it only weighs 22 tons which means it is very very rapid in forward and, and reverse with 70 kilometers uh, max speed in forwards and 43 kilometers an hour uh, max speed in reverse so very mobile uh, across the battlefield but that comes with a massive massive problem uh, with this vehicle which was my main gripe of it because of all that maneuverability it has absolutely no armor at all 20 millimeters at the front 35 uh, millimeters uh, on the side that's just uh, some structural steel i think it's here can't even find it now but it doesn't really matter the problem with it is that this vehicle gets hole broken and i mean it literally everything hole breaks it it doesn't matter where it gets hit it's going to get hole broken if somebody literally does so much of breathes on it which means you can't be as aggressive as you would be in say a leopard a type 74g and you have to play this tank in a very different way and definitely in like a light tank way rather than like a medium tank and I think that's my main problem with it, is it just has no survivability um, at all. And I do struggle in actually surviving in this vehicle longer than like five minutes, because if somebody literally hits you, you're going to be dead, and you're going to be going back uh, to the menu. But anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to take this out into some ground realistic battle to see how this Swedish Whippet gets on in a couple of games. It is very much just as it is as when the patch drops, just a clusterfuck right now with Sweden on Sweden, Sweden on the same team as the, the other team, and like it's a digitally, there's a massive clusterfuck. But we'll see how we get on with this. So let's get going, and we'll see how we get on in a couple of games. Okay, welcome to Middle East for our first game. 
It's a small one right now. There's a lot of Sweden here, but we do have some other nations as well. And it's not actually some hot Sweden on a Sweden action, which is a little bit of a shame. This vehicle is really mobile, very quick, very fast accelerating. For a light tank, it's definitely good, but as a premium, with a whole break, I mean, Aurora Cat has more survivability than this. Enemies coming forward, it's a uh, April. Shit, I didn't get to him in time. I see him up there, we could call artillery on him. Okay, that was a uh, Crusader AA. We're just going to set on this flank. Yeah, like I said as well, this thing also has commander thermals, which is pretty nice. As a scout tank, it is very, very good. And I'm probably playing the tank a little bit wrong when I have tried to take this out. Probably been too aggressive with it rather than trying to be sneaky. So you do have to be careful. That was a Rubicab 105. Oops, someone just fired at me. Oh, okay, he was dead. Would have been nice to have a little bit faster reload on this. And this is where I'm probably going to sip for most of this game because I'm terrified of moving forward. And that's you getting shot. This this guy is still up here as well. I'm going to try and call artillery on him again in a second. Right, we're going to call artillery on this guy. He's got to be... There. We could push up and try and kill him. Definitely called artillery on his location. I get him while it, oh, 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 are we hidden? Oh, he's up here. Okay. Oh, shit. Well, that was lucky, and there's another guy over here. Let's spot him up. Oh, that he's dead. Good. Well, this is going pretty well for me. Normally, these games do not go as well as this. I'm going to move back, actually. Gun sounds are fantastic now. Really basic. Very nice. But all the guns sound the same, and that's that's can be a little bit of a problem. Oh no. No <laughs> Cheeky little fuckhead. Yeah, and this is another thing this tank is gonna have problems with. Aircraft it can you can even get a pen from leaving Probably 50 cows on the top. There's only him and one other guy left alive. Oh god, I need I need to dodge this guy. There is a J29 coming in. Hopefully they'll deal with him in a second. I'm just gonna hide myself. Wait for him to get shot down. Come on, you need to get him. Oh, he's coming for me, isn't he? He's coming for me. I'm fucked. Oh no, he's not coming for me. Can the jet please deal with him? 
Come on, J29. Oh my god, you suck. Stop sucking. Play better. Oh, he's gonna crash that. Yeah. Oh, we actually got him. Okay. I take that back. I'm sorry, Easterly. I'm sorry for ever doubting you. So there's literally only one guy left alive. Let's cap the point. Oh, what's this over here? Here he is. And he's dead. Nice one. Huh. The new jet sounds are interesting. I'm not I'm not sure I like them. They're too whooshy. <laughs> That's the only way you can describe it. That it doesn't sound right. I can tell you now that jets do not sound like that. And there's just the one guy left alive now. Well, that first game wasn't too bad. Not too bad of a first game at all. We're on our odd ends with this next one. It's a small game, though, and there's only a couple of the Swedes in it. Which is kind of good. I'm not very really keen on the, the Sweden on Swedish uh, games. They're over within literally five minutes because only people have one vehicle. And it's a bit of a clusterfuck. I could try and do a little bit of a flanky move in here, around the side, I think. Let's turn on the thermals. And my game froze then massively, and I actually killed him. That was a real cap one. Wow, there's loads of them over this way. Where do you think you're going? Where are you off to? Hopefully you won't see me. That was a Type 74, okay. I think this is the best use for this vehicle. It's, it's definitely a flanky, fast... Fast vehicle. It's interesting, well, I'm literally just sat in the open. Enemy have cut the point, though. I think for the most part I've been playing this vehicle wrong. I think this vehicle is going to be best used in a lineup of other things. The gun's fantastic though. The gun definitely works well. It's going to be best used in a lineup with other tanks. And I don't think it's that good on its own, but we're doing really well this game. Four kills so far. Where are these enemies at? Where are these enemies at? I haven't seen an enemy player in like five minutes. Sure, they're on an aircraft. Oh, there he is up here. What were you doing up there? Got all the map right now as well. Let's move away from that. There we go. I think the enemies. There's only two of them left. I think they're all in aircraft. And that's not going to win in the game. Okay, well, to Normandy for our last game today. This is technically a night battle, which is intriguing, but... There we go. I think I'm going to go to my early... Favourite early game position, which is over here on this map. Just the one cap, though, which is going to keep things nice and condensed. <laughs> wow. What <laughs> Just a couple of Leos. Mixed in with all the CB90s. It's not a bad vehicle. It's not a bad vehicle, but... Maybe is expecting too much from it. Oh, we've got another in front.
Okay, well that did like no damage to him, but never mind. Guy over here. Risk cutting him. Fuck it. I didn't get his gun. Nice, there's an ever assist. If you do play it as its intended role, this is a it is a very capable light tank. guy over here. I see him. Can't get the gun on him though right now. And the friendly ahead of me has just died as well. I just missed him. I think there's another enemy here as well. Oh. Enemy front. Nice hit. Might be out again with the next one. Come on, reload quicker. There we go. Let's pull back. This is definitely the best use for this vehicle. Hit. At least we scouted him up. There's still enemies in the cap. I might push the cap here. Try and actually see if we can actually cap it. This is going to be risky though. over here. Don't really want to hit him right now. Rather get the guy in the cab. Where, where the fuck is he? Okay, that was scout is dead. Where is the guy in the cab? He's, he's here somewhere. Oh shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Literally just cannot reload quick enough to kill all the enemies. I should have scouted one and killed the other. I would have had the KPZ if the XM1 hadn't have interfered. Wherever he was, I didn't even get the kill. Kill camera. I've got to ping where he is, though. For the friendly on the... A cap. We're actually losing this game now. I might be back to where I was. Fingers are pushing that cap, but. Yes, he's got him. We're capping. There we go. Ooh, okay, this game has kind of swung around the last minute. Let's pop smoke. And I think we'll move back into the position I was. Over here. Oh, hang on. Friendly. Friendly needs help. I just got him. Well done. See no one close by. Is that someone there? 
Yep, enemy on him. He smoked up that I can't see him. Nice. My god, that was basic as hell. I think we've turned this one around. As a light tank, this vehicle is absolutely fantastic. Really good mobility, really good gun. The commander thermals are absolutely fantastic. Really do help it out with scouting out uh, enemies and lighting them up uh, for you to target or for somebody else. The problem is obviously is the whole brake mechanic on this vehicle just get you killed all the time. And I think as like a standalone vehicle, if you're intending on buying your way into the, the Swedish uh, CBT, it's not the best vehicle for grinding out the Swedish tech tree because it normally don't do as well in this thing as say the SGRV 103. Although they have actually changed this in terms of how the whole aiming mode works and it doesn't seem to be nowhere near as good as what it used to be in that regard. It's kind of ironic that they try and fix things and then just make it worse. But if you do want to get down to the top tier-ish Swedish tech tree, I think this is better for actually grinding out uh, the Swedish line uh, rather than the CV9105, which I think is more suited for a lineup, like a full lineup to complement other vehicles where take it out uh, later on in the game etc but as a standalone to grind out the Swedish tech tree I think there are better choices uh, in terms of a uh, Swedish premium vehicles but anyway let me know in the comments below if you bought this vehicle what you think of it um, and what you think of any other Swedish tanks you have played uh, so far and please like comment share all that good stuff guys and I'll catch you on the next one sometime soon bye, -bye.